Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and this is One Stop Programming and this is going to be a Python tutorial series for absolute beginners. Uh, just a quick synopsis of what we're going to go over in this video. I'm going to start by off by introducing myself and One Stop Programming and some of the services we provide. Uh, then we're going to go over configuring the development environment for Python and then we'll start out with a simple hello world script in Python. So, to introduce myself, like I said, I'm Kevin, and I'm One Stop Programming, and this is the One Stop Programming blog at onestopprogramming.com slash blog. Here you'll be able to find uh, all the information on all my tutorials, as well as supporting information, source code files, uh, and any other information I post here. So, if you're having trouble, you want to look at something again, you want to check the source code, uh, come over here and all that information will be here. There's also the One Stop Programming Forum at just onestopprogramming.com. And here you can register and post any questions that you have, and I'll be happy to assist you and so will the community. Uh, so just some great resources that you have at your disposal there. Uh, we're going to move right along to downloading and installing Python. It's a very straightforward installation. Just download the appropriate uh, installer that you see here from python.org slash download. All of these links will be in the description, so don't worry about copying them down or anything like that. So just choose the appropriate installer there. You want Python 3.3.3, or whatever the uh, most recent version is as, at the time of you watching this video. Installation is very straightforward. You can just run the installer and um, go through it and just do everything in the default location. So when you install after you install python it comes with a default editor and compiler and that's called idle you can very easily get to it through the start menu just i d l e and you can launch that now this is the default editor that comes with python and when you launch it you just get a startup script and the ability to go to file new file and this is where you can type like whatever your python program is going to be However, idle has very limited support for doing a lot of things that you might find useful in IDE, especially in a language like Python that is uh, white space eliminated, meaning that it's not delimited by a semicolon or anything. It's delimited by tabs and spaces. So you, you'll learn what that means when I go over it in more detail, but essentially idle is not a very good IDE for Python. Um, so for that reason, uh, you're more than welcome to use idle. Everything will work fine, uh, but I'm not going to use idle for this tutorial series. I'm going to use uh, Notepad++, which can be downloaded from right here at notepadplus.org. Uh, Again, link will be in the description. You just go ahead and download and install that. So next, we need to configure the uh, environment for Python to make it easy to for us to run scripts outside of idle. We right click on computer, go to properties, advanced system settings, and then down here at the bottom and under the advanced tab we click environment of variables and then under system variables we're going to create a new one and call it Python already have one created. Um, so the variable name is going to be Python and then the variable value is going to be wherever you installed Python to. So for me that's my C drive Python 33. So you just go to your C drive, the default location is going to be the C drive or wherever you installed it. So Python 33 and you're looking for the python.exe. Wherever the python.exe is located that's what you want this folder to be. So you just click OK, 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 and we'll just close out everything here. So now if we go back to our start menu and type CMD for command prompt, we get a command prompt there and we type Python, and there we get the Python uh, shell. So now I'm going to go into a little bit about Python and some of the nuances of the language. You can also find a great description of Python on the blog at onestopprogramming.com slash blog and go to the Python link. So Python is a uncompiled or interpreted language that is dynamically typed 
uh, and is a white space language. So like I was saying, Python is dynamically typed, white space, uh, interpreted language, which means, let me just go through each one of those really quick. Interpreted or not compiled means that I can type something right into the shell and it will run. So I can print hello world and it just runs. This is this line of code executing. It doesn't need anything else, it doesn't need any supporting files or anything, it just runs which makes it a really great uh, rapid prototyping language, meaning if you want to start and just hit the ground running and test your idea and see if it works, Python is a great way to do that because it doesn't require any overhead uh, from creating a project or anything like that. You can just go. However, that also means it's a little slower because it's interpreted and not compiled. Your compiled languages like your C's and C++'s are generally going to be a lot faster, but for most applications, you're not going to need to worry about that kind of speed unless you're going to do some kind of integrated development or something like that. Uh, the next thing is it's a white space language, which means, unlike a lot of other languages that are delimited by semicolons or something like that, Python is delimited by spaces. So if I were to type while true See, I get that little dot, dot, dot. And that's showing me that I'm in a new line or tabbed over a little bit. So if I, if I do that and then type print hello world and then print one, two, three, it's going to say syntax error, invalid syntax, because I am not going with the this should also be indented the same amount as that. So it's a little annoying for some people to come over from another language, but it's it works out well. It's not that big a deal. Uh, it keeps your code neat all the time. Uh, so I don't really see that as a di disadvantage. Python is also dynamically typed, which means there's no strict variable types. There's no like int x equals 1. There's just x equals 1. Uh, very straightforward, um, or I could say x equals 1. And then I could say x equals hello world. And it's fine with that. It doesn't really care. Um, so there is no notion of x is a string variable that will always be a string variable. x is just a variable and it can be whatever you want it to be. Um, that can get confusing and we won't really use variables like that. Uh, because you do still want your variables to be have a type associated with them. However, it's not strictly typed in the sense that it has to always be that. So it is, it's useful in the sense that it doesn't restrict you, but it's also kind of a nuisance because you can get really confused if you have something that you think is an integer, and all of a sudden it's a string, and you're like, why is my code not working? It's because the thing you think is supposed to be an integer is not. So, a little confusing like that, but we we saw what Hello World does. If you just want a Python script, all you have to do is run idle or uh, open up the command prompt and type Python, and you get this Python script. To leave this script, you just type exit, and there you go. So in the next video, we will get into actually using Notepad++ to create a uh, Python script and uh, going through some simple tutorials on uh, just making your first py py Python scripts and getting started with Python. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.